Hey man, I wasn't trying to hear that. In the streets, this was my older brother in the studio. I was his older. He would have accepted a Jay Z verse of to be of equal value to him. He showed you a tape that would probably break the internet in today's world. She's a she's a big time R and B. You know what I'm saying? But it was a lot of big time R and B back then. You know, I ain't gonna call them bitches women. You know, you had Mary J. Blige, you had Beyonce. You won't believe it, girl. An old tape of Beyonce and Pimp Say from our past has turned up, and Queen is shook. This isn't your mother's behind, honey. We're going to reveal everything in this video, which has everyone talking. I promise you that you'll want to stay for this one. Never knew existed, and everything you believe to be true about her is going to alter. Pimp sees affair with Beyonce, saying that there's a tape Jay-Z took out Pimp C. Mm, I was just listening to uh, there's one of their songs the other day, him and Bum B. I think it was with Outkast. Y'all know the song I'm talking about. Y'all know the song. I'm gonna check this video out, man. I, I know this is about to get wild and crazy. Whether this stuff is true or not, I don't know. But when you're dealing with these evil souls, as I like to call them, you never know. All right, we ain't gonna waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. This recording shows us a whole other side of Bay, and it's not a nice image. Girl, let me tell you about the Beyonce. You don't know, we're talking about the time before she was Queen B, before the flawless Instagram post and the flawless red carpet looks. For those who don't know, Pimpy was a big deal in the Southern rap scene. He was one half of UG, had mad influence, and wasn't afraid to speak his mind. The streets respected him and apparently so did Young B. However, what's got everyone going crazy over this tape? While the rumors are flying, this is Ra Uncut Beyond, who was wild and unfiltered while hanging with a crowd that would make her PR team swept bullets today. This isn't the polished pop star we know now, and this is Ra Uncut Beyond before she learned to keep her guard up 24-7. Some people claim that it depicts Bean partying hard possibly too hard, while others whisper about her saying certain things that don't really fit with her impeccable persona today. There's also the discussion about how she's behaving around Pimpsey, which let's just say is drawing some attention. And he tried, you know, he said, well, you know, Pimp had this video, X-rated videotape, and everybody went and ran with who they thought this person was. Mm -hmm. And with what I'm about to say, you can kind of decipher it. Oh, that, that's why. Although I can't spell everything, allow me to offer you a preview of this film. It has the streets are saying that this tape may hold the key to understanding the real Bianca, not the carefully manicured image we see now, but the hungry, ambitious girl from Houston who was willing to do whatever it took to make it big, but that's just the beginning of this messy situation. In addition to appearing extremely at ease with Pimpy and his crew, she's laughing, joking, and clearly not worried about her image. There is some language in the video that would make her current fans clutch their pearls, and the way she's dressed, let's say it's a far cry from the high fashion looks we're used to seeing. See, now that this recording is out, it's causing a lot of commotion, and you know that Beyonce and her team won't take this lying down. The issue is, how will they spin this one? Then you get people like the conspiracy theorists, you know, right. oh, Bun did it, oh, Bun God. had something to do it with it. It was on Jay-Z's birthday, so Jay-Z yeah. must have had something to do with it. Uh, you know, we kind of want to stop all that. You know, Bun ain't gonna speak up for himself at all. He ain't, but Bun also did say that this wasn't no natural situation that could No, you know, this, yeah. Nah, you know, he said that from the beginning, so, yes. you know, why would he put like, oh, yeah, keep the case but, open. But, but the coroner's report did say it was natural. Yeah, no, Bun was never. No. So why would a man, why would a man keep that, you know, like. Oh, yeah, active. Insinuate to yes. keep that. You know? Yes, right. yes. So, I mean, you get so much. You know, we did an interview uh, on, uh, on with, with, with Pimpy Ken. Yeah, shout out to Pimpy Ken. Pimpy Ken, you know, uh, he was trying to one up me on the PMC stories. Yeah, you know. He was on Boss Talk. Yeah, you know how I go. Yeah, I, yeah. I remember. Yeah, he's trying, he was trying to, he was trying to one up me. And he tried, you know, he said, well, you know, Pimp had this video, X-rated videotape, and everybody went and ran with who they thought this person was. Mm -hmm. And with what I'm about to say, you can kind of decipher it. Oh, that, that's why Jay-Z killed him. Well, no one's name was ever mentioned. No one ever said anything, but people took it upon themselves to put a name on it, put an address on that, you know what I mean? And made it a fact. Oh, made it a fact. <laughs> that's what I look in these comments, they be like, well, you know, this happened. Yeah. And this yeah. happened. Like, I was like, damn, don't you know that was me on the video, right? Yeah, like, you know. How you telling me? I was there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> They'll tell you, nah. Come and on. So, yeah, but 
I can't put myself in their um, their shoes because I don't think like them. You know what I'm saying? I've always thought like a, a artist or someone in the industry. You know what I'm saying? So, but I do know how some of the fans will act. You know what I mean? They'll they'll own that shit and they'll stand on it. And it's, it's hard to. I, mean, I had somebody in the comments say, uh, "Damn, they believe what Edgar said, but they said, damn." I really like the Bum BJZ narrative. Yep. You wanted I'm, it to, I'm around with that one. You wanted it to be that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't, you know, Bun don't need nobody taking care of him, yeah. you know, because he's a grown man. But I've always been, you know, trying to be like a protector of people that I, that I'm emotionally attached to. You know, I'm right. not going to let nothing happen to you. I'm not going to, you know, if somebody says something negative to you, I'd be like, say, hey, man, yeah. that nigga ain't like that. Well, you know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. And same thing with, with with videos. If you come on our on, on our platform and you say something negative about somebody, I'd be like, really, bro? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Do you, I mean, why are you putting my family exactly. in the middle of this? You know, now, you know, it's funny because uh, shout out uh, Clear Motion Films, Raheem. He had left out of here just a second ago. Yes. And uh, you know, people were upset like, wait, why did Clear Motion Films? Go out there and talk all that crazy stuff about real life. I'm like, man, we we told him to. Oh yeah, he we told gave him the. We yeah. told him to go do it. Yeah, he said, man, make the interview interesting, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Say you created us. Or but people don't understand. They don't understand. The yeah, they, they love this. I mean, it's a smoke and mirrors game. But for someone to go with the smoke and the mirrors, I'm like, wow. They want it to be the smoke and the mirrors. Want it. They I'm telling you, Charlemagne used to say something. What used to, what's that shit Charlemagne used to say? Why believe the truth when the when the when uh, the lies? Uh, sweeter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it's much. Y'all think you know Beyonce Sync again this tape isn't just stirring up drama, it's threatening to blow the lid off her whole carefully crafted image from ratchet to refined from Houston hood to Hollywood royalty based transformation is the stuff of legend, but at what cost and more importantly can. Her team keep this genie in the bottle now let's talk about the Beyonce we see today all polish and perfection right girl that image didn't happen overnight Bay's been working on that squeaky clean persona for years every interview every red carpet every Instagram post is all part of the plan she's got us thinking she wakes up like that but we know better but this tape it's like a wrecking ball coming for all that hard work the bean we see in that video is a far cry from the poise queen we know now back then she was all about that bullicious life not afraid to get a little messy now she's serving us lemonade and black excellence it's like night and day for real think about some of ba's most carefully orchestrated moments remember her coachella performance or her pregnancy announcement at the vma everything was flawless but this footage shows us a bayon who didn't care about being flawless instead she was simply enjoying her life without any filters he hated Jay-Z enough when he was trying to get Ja Rule to go at Jay-Z. This is back in the early 2000s. And one day, Ashner Kushner, Diddy and myself went to a Nets game and we met Jay-Z. I've never been a Jay-Z fan, you know. You know, like some of his music, the whole nine yards. But when we went over to the, uh, I think that was Prudential Center in Newark, and him and Puff met up, it was strange to me. Because I remember what Puff was trying to do. And then both of them, they was talking about something amongst each other, amongst all of us, and laughing and joking with each other. Then over the years, I see them giving garden parties. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, you could tell that the people in power had gave that ring to Diddy and Jay was next in line. So to separate him when in fact they may be two of the same but because Jay-Z is low key, that low key sneaky shit, and Diddy is, and work was rambunctious, you know, just out with it. It don't mean that they not two of the same. One just a little quiet what? with his shit. What happened at the basketball game? When they when they ran into you guys ran into Jay Z? They were just talking. They was talking amongst each other about their little white girls. 
They little skinny white girls. And I mean, did Diddy always say negative things about Jay around you? The time he was trying to get Ja Rule to go at Jay, yeah. He was. They worked it out. Was there a reason behind it? I, 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 I couldn't tell you the reason behind it. It was just, it's probably because Big had died. I don't know what it was, man. I don't know why he wanted Ja Rule to go at Jay. I guess if he kept them beefing or kept them into some bullshit, he could rise up in between both of them. The streets are claiming that the girl on the tape, B, is far from the Bayonk who won't even allow people to take pictures of her at parties. She's throwing back drinks with language that would make her current fans gasp, and she's getting really cozy with Pimpy and his crew. So how is Bion going to spin this one? Her team is likely in crisis mode right now trying to figure out how to control the damage. They might try to play it off as though it's nothing more than a young girl having fun, or they might try to play it off as though it was difficult for B.A. to break into the industry. However, the T. Bean's team is frantically trying to keep this tape. They're threatening lawsuits and requesting favors. The question is whether it will be sufficient because once something is posted online, it remains there forever, and people will be searching through every second of that tape for any small detail they can use against B.A. However, there is more to this story than that. Under wraps, rumors have it that they are even attempting to purchase the tape outright. Not only is this recording about Beyonce, but it also stirs up a lot of old drama in the music business. As they say, we there's smoke, there's fire, so who knows what additional secrets could surface as a result. We all know that Jay-Z does not play when handling business, and he is always ready to get dirty if need be, at least according to what we've heard in recent times. It's also amusing how nice and diplomatic he can be when it's all said and done. His interview with LeBron about DMX's passing was a perfect example. Now, there's been a lot of talk recently as to what happened to Pimp C because of all this Diddy mess. Now, word on the street is that he met his untimely demise because he had a beef with Jay and an alleged affair with Queen Bey, Jay's wife. A lot of fans think it wasn't an affair, but what topped it off was the fact that there was a rumor that he had Beyonce on tape doing the goody and having a good time. In an interview with Pimp C's closest aide, they had this to say. Let's go back. You, you had mentioned Pimp C earlier. With that being said, Pimp, did Pimp C really have a tape of somebody in the industry? That would break the internet. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you done seen it, Marvin. Marvin seen it. Marvin seen it. Tell him who it is. Hey, man, tell him who it is. Nice. Tell him who it is. Nice. Hey, man, who it is. Nice. I wish we, we still try to find out who was in this <laughs> pimp C tape. All I can tell you, there was a famous RB chick. And it was a guy that was getting money at the time. The rumors of Beyonce's tape from an affair she had with someone in the industry wouldn't sit well with Jay. I'm just. Whenever I, when I, whenever I hear stuff like this, like people going on interviews talking about this, like at the end of the day, what will they gain from it? You know, or is it just to be like I was the one to break the news? Because you already know these people pass each other around like. Yeah, y'all already, y'all should know that. So it wouldn't shock me at all, but damn. If that's the reason he got taken out, that's a whole nother, mm -mm -mm. Is he with it? And he is well known to handle business whichever way he sees fit. But even if that's just speculation, what is really wild is the fact that Jay and Pimp C actually used to be close until they were suddenly not. Jay and Pimp even had a collaboration with Jay Z on his Timbaland produced Big Pimpin in 2000, which went on to be a big hit. The song went on to reach platinum status, but there was allegedly a clash of heads between Jay Z and Pimp C multiple times behind the scenes. Pimp C was initially hesitant to work with Jay because he felt he didn't show respect to Tupac and Pimp was known among his peers to not condone any Tupac disrespect. Pimp used to have a picture on his wall of Tupac and whenever you would ask him something that required deep thought he would look at the picture and it would be like what are you doing He's like I'm asking Pac what he think he was very very aligned in with the personality of Tupac not really the musician but the character of Tupac the personality um, and how, how he carried himself as a man in the world and in the culture. And if it was something that Pimp thought that Tupac wouldn't do, 
pimp wouldn't do it. According to Greg Taylor, manager of UGK at the time, he said Rockefeller's Dame Dash cut a check of a million dollars to collaborate with Pimp C. And he just straight out told them to give it to Tupac's mother. I said, but right now, I got a million dollar check for you. All we want was a hundred thousand. I was just like, who is that with? I said, with Rockefeller. He was like, what? I was like, yeah. He was like, uh, I'm watching Dan with the checkbook, he writing it out. He was like, ain't that with, uh, over there with Jay-Z? I was like, yeah. He was like, um, man, tell him to take that check to go give it to Tupac Mama, man. Mm. He's gonna be stealing all my, I was like, what? It took a lot of convincing and persuading before Pimp C decided to work on Big Pimpin' with Jay-Z, according to Too Short. Like, literally, he was like, I ain't with Tupac, I ain't with you. That was a law. I didn't know none of this. It was not to be compromised. And if you hear the stories about how they got him on Big Pimpin', it was a lot of back and forth. I, I was one of the people saying, man, just do it, do it. Do it. But there was more to the beef between Jay and Pimp C, and that was the alleged relationship he had with Beyonce. Later on, a rumor about an alleged tape with Bay and Pimp featured started floating around. Pimping Ken confirmed this in an interview, but he stopped short of putting names on it out of respect to Pimp. With that being said, Pimp, did Pimp C really have a tape of somebody in the industry? that would break the internet. In the <laughs> you look like you done seen it, Marvin. Marvin seen it. Marvin seen it. Seen it. Marvin seen it. No, tell him who it is. Hey, Marvin. man, tell him who it is. I wish we, we still try to find out who was in this Pimp C hey, tape. All I can tell you, there was a famous R&B chick, and it was a guy that was getting money at the time. And, you know, Pimp, he used to be in the studio. And every now and then he have a camcorder, so he was able to get some footage. Mm. And he wanted to do something with the footage, but I don't know why he didn't do nothing with it. But if I could have got a hold of that tape, I'd be a millionaire, man. <laughs> boy. Boy, boy, hey, they, hey, whoever it was, they would have to kill me, man. I know TMZ would have paid a bank for that one, man. Y'all know that Pimpsey's death was a very mysterious one. While the coroners and the cops believed it was an OD, a lot of Pimp's friends and associates who saw his body believed otherwise. And there has been this crazy rumor that this alleged video is what got Pimp C. Too short, a very close friend and business associate of Pimp C didn't agree with the official reports about the circumstances of Pimp's death. He felt there was more more to it and it was crazy that someone he had a great time with just 48 hours prior could just die of an OD. Uh, my guy Pimp C, right. who Rest is like my little brother and who I saw probably 48 hours before he passed. Wow. And I was supposed to meet up with him the day he, not the, I don't know when he passed, but that Saturday he came to my show. And Saturday we said, let's go dinner tomorrow. And then Sunday we got on the phone and he was like, man, I, I'm busy. I'm like, damn, I'm busy. We couldn't meet up. Then Monday, I didn't talk to him, and then Tuesday, they found him. And wow. I'm like, I'm like, so right off the rip, I'm like, what happened? What happened? Like, what happened? And all I get back is, well, he was in his room by himself, and they found him. I'm like, what happened to my guy? Right. And then they come out with the official. It was a mixture of some stuff, the prescription and something else or something that I don't really know. But with me, I never really heard. Uh, it's always weird with like celebrity deaths there's always you know and that's why i say us on the outside looking in we don't know these people we don't know what they do behind closed doors but like when people are like close to them and they're confused you know what i mean like just imagine how we feel but i didn't know none of this at all about him and beyonce when this tea leaked, it turned the entire internet on fire. Everyone and their mothers had opinions, and believe me, they weren't holding back from using Twitter to instag lives. People were shouting Beyond's name and talking in the streets, but the real question is, is Queen Bia going to lose her throne, or will this drama only make her crown shine brighter? In an attempt to defend their queen, the beehive is in full attack mode. They say it's just a young Ba having fun and leave her alone, but the haters are out for blood and are claiming that this tape shows that Bayan isn't as perfect as she wants. Most to believe.
Additionally, there are a lot of crazy theories circulating, with some people claiming that the tape was leaked on purpose to generate publicity for a new album, and others asserting the evidence that Beyond's whole career is based on falsehoods. The most bizarre one I've heard is that this is all part of an Illuminati ritual. I promise that people would believe anything these days, but celebrities are also participating. Something was tweeted by Nicki Minaj. Everyone is wondering whether they are secretly great friends as the drama continues happening after Shady's posts about the truth always getting out and God people talking are followed by Rihanna's posts supporting Beyond. Why is everyone having such a hard time? He ain't doing sh different. He lined up D Haven, stole his life and identity. He lined up Big L, stole his life and identity. He lined up Dame Dash, stole his life, identity, and took his love. Lined up R. Kelly. He wants to be the one. Yeah, shout out D. Haven. He actually hit us up, wanted to tell this story. You need to talk to D. Haven. Yeah, we need to talk to him. I told you that last year you when did. I put you on the phone with him. You did. I want you to think about this. Allegedly, Sean Carter is responsible for enacting Hype Williams to put a Leo on a faulty plane to move her out the way as punishment for rejecting him. And so he could level up Beyonce, who was struggling. Let's just say allegedly that happened. Now, I want you to think about 106th and Park with Mary J. Blige. Free, who is a victim of Sean Carter. Yeah. Mary J. Blige, who is a victim of Sean Combs, are sitting there talking about the death of Aaliyah amongst each other. Think about that. You got a Diddy victim, you got a Jay-Z victim, and you got a superstar gone. They know what happened. And yet, they had to sit there and have that conversation like they didn't know who did it. Think of the power of that moment. Think about Claudia Jordan right now. Claudia Jordan don't ever mention my mother name. She mentioned it yesterday. Talking about why people are afraid to come forward. You mean like you? You was Diddy girl. Corey was Jay-Z girl. Why don't you claim your friend? Claudia. The big issue today is if this will be the end of Beyond's reign. Some people claim that this recording will destroy her career and that she can never fully recover from the damage to her reputation, but they don't know Bean. This lady has persevered through every scandal that has been thrown at her, and she always emerges stronger. In fact, I'll tell you a little secret this disaster may, in a twisted sense, be beneficial for Bab's career. People who weren't even considering Beyoncé are now curious in what she's up to because of all this chatter, and as they say, there's no such thing as bad publicity in. In addition, the whole situation has been making Bean look more relatable for years, it's like we're getting a behind-the-scenes look at how a star is born. And let's be honest, people love that kind of story, but we can't forget about the other person in this equation. This isn't just about being there's another name that keeps coming up in all this drama and it's igniting a whole different kind of controversy. People have been saying that she's too perfect to polish, but now they're seeing a young B.A. Hyung B.A. who was just trying to break in the industry. I'm referring about Pimp C and believe me, his role in this tale is equally spicy. Rumor has it that his legacy may be set to undergo a significant shift, and not everyone is pleased about it. That boy died so they could cash in a motherfucking insurance policy and to cover up the fact that Rock Nation was ripping Megan away from 300. I guess nobody's paying attention to the fact that complete control of Megan the Stallion's career was taken over right after Takeoff died, and the Prince family were forced to leverage and let her go, even though they did not want to. Mm. Isn't that interesting? Houston politics. <laughs> let me ask you, because... Uh, and I'm not saying allegedly. Oh. Mm. Okay, well, yeah. I'm All saying, right, Sean Carter, you. you're a piece of 
Taking Pimp C wasn't bad enough. Now it is it's hit me from this interview when she mentioned Pimp C. I still don't, didn't know the whole Pimp C, Beyonce connection. No, they both from Houston, but yeah, I remember when she said that. Because when she said that, uh, and I'm not saying allegedly. Mm -mm. You just want to go down there and you want to just remove all of the balls from every real f gangster in Houston? Why the f did that house burn up? This is where it gets interesting, though. While Jay-Z had affairs outside his union with Bay, there were rumors that Beyonce did the same. And there were claims that Jay allegedly went out of his way to sabotage these men's careers any way he could. With everything going on, can you even put that past Jay? Now, while Pimp and Ken didn't explicitly give out names, he was explicit enough in his description for us to understand that the alleged R&B celebrity in that tape could be Bay. I give out more hit than I ever gave anybody else. Whoever the was, she didn't f several rappers from Houston. <clears throat> okay, let's let's leave it that right that there. When Pimpin' Ken was asked to compare how crazy the video would be if it turned out to be a video of Kim and Ray J, he feels it would be way wilder than that because the celebrity in it is 10 times more popular. How explosive would that video be, you feel, in today's time? Oh, oh the video that, that, that Pimp C had? Yes. Uh, Man, <laughs> she Hey, man, this woman here is 10 times more famous than uh, Kim. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, it's like, it'd be a lot of simping going on because a lot of who think they all clever be really hurt. <gasps> if I had that video, I would have sold it and made millions of dollars off it. Those were the words of Pimp and Ken. He felt Pimp C should have made bank with that video instead of protecting the integrity of who was in it. If I would have had it, I would anonymously put it out because it, I would have made trillions of dollars. Yeah, but I say, the, how much money you feel? You'd, I think you'd have made trillions because, you know, whoever this person is, they all they do well just on music. Damn. So Damn. if somebody can see her behind, Damn. but naked, you know what I'm saying? I think they'd be, you know, because probably a lot of people already got a fantasy about this chick. There are rumors of Bay being a wild one in her early days. She allegedly tested the waters with a train of MCs back in the days of Destiny's Child. And even after she was with Jay, she's always been strategic and wanted the power couple play she found with Jay-Z. Maybe that's why they never broke up. We'll never know. The truth of the matter is that the queen might not be as squeaky clean as she supposedly is. There have been other celebrity names in the rumor mill that might have had some time with Queen Bay over the years. Sean Paul for one, but it started to feel like after she got what she needed from their collab, she just left him to bear the brunt of the consequences. You don't mess with Jay's woman, because in the end, he tramples on you and only shines more. Maybe that's what happened with the Pimp C story too. He could have just been a pawn in that woman's game, and maybe that's why he met his early demise. That alleged tape could have been what tipped it, but we will never know. There's probably more to the whole story that only leaves fans guessing. R.I.P. to the great Pimp C. Do you even think there's a tape at all? Or maybe Jay and Bay are as innocent and perfect as they seem. Share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to watch. Whoever it is saying she's more like 10 times more popular than Kim Kardashian. Boy, it, it, again, it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't shock me. Because if you listen to Beyonce's music, she seems pretty wild. But, you know, it, you know how they were saying like they think you know they're they're they don't believe that jay-z and beyonce relationship is real it's a business relationship although they do got kids but it's 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 one of them things like they're together but they're not it's like they almost doing their own thing you know um uh, you don't really see them all lovey-dovey, you know? But it, it would not it would not shock me, this whole story. I'd be boo-boo the fool to think that this couldn't be real. Um, just hearing the guys talk saying like, man, like how, how they were saying how much money they would have made. Because I'm just trying to think like, what other chick 
that sings that is 10 times popular than Kim Kardashian, you know, uh, in the Houston area. Let's now have a heated discussion about Pimpsey. You may be wondering, who is this guy and why does he matter well? Pimpy was a big deal in the rap game. He was half of IG, a legendary southern hip-hop duo that made Texas famous. Pimpy wasn't just a rapper, he was also a producer, a trendsetter, and a voice for the streets. Now that this video is out there, everyone is looking at him in a different light, and the streets are saying that it might forever alter our perception of Pimpy. Pimpy was known for being honest without filtering and expressing his thoughts, even if it got him into trouble. In this tape, we're seeing that raw, uncut Pimpsey energy, but here's the thing, it's not just about him. This video demonstrates the extent of his effect, even with someone like Beyond today. The drama was real when Pimp C called out Jay-Z for not expressing love for Southern rap, or when he and Master P had that whole thing girl. Now that this tape is out there, all of that old stuff is resurfacing. Pimp C had a history with many other artists, including Jay-Z and 36 AIF. So Jack, wouldn't you say... Jay when I say Corey, I'm talking about Kathy White. Oh yeah, that's what I was about to ask. Uh... Jay-Z's Jay pregnant Z's, mistress yeah. who died of an imaginary fucking aneurysm. Just like the woman who was best friends with Kim and Kimura who wrote the book Bling and died as soon as it made the bestsellers list. Who the fuck was these people supposed to go to? You can't go to the boss because the boss is fucking you. And the boss is boss? Don't get no fuck. Can't go to the authorities. They're all bought and paid for. You could try to get a special prosecutor, but they'll just pay somebody to reassign him to another case. Where the fuck you go when you get fucked over by the industry? Nowhere. That's where you go nowhere, which is where people like me step in. Right, I go to Diddy parties to walk mother out because ain't nobody stopping me when I come. Mm. So let me ask you, because I look at a uh, Gabriel Union and when you mention things like Jay-Z's time is coming for him, then I look at, uh, you know, Beyonce and I say that, you know, women do have a that country album and any of you that buy that she a Stupid as shit. You don't give it's it okay. trap music with God a holster and a f hat. But she remade Jolie. Dead bitch. I'm gonna tell you the song she should have remade. It's a hit. It would have done great for her. She should have tried it on. Tammy Wynette. Classic. Stand by your man. Don't act like you don't know that now. Remake that. Stand by that. That's a real country hit. Jolene, nice. But it has a ring to it. Stand by your man. Yeah. That whoops you. And disrespects you with other. Like Kathy Coriana White. All right, well, let's do it like this. He was actually carrying his baby while you was faking it. The streets are buzzing with speculation about who might be revealed next, but here's the real deal. What if this tape leads to more revelations about other artists? What if there are more videos out there that reveal sides of our favorite rappers that we were unaware of? This tape make is part of a larger discussion about authenticity in the music industry. We're always talking about keeping it real, right? But what happens when authenticity from the past doesn't align with the image artists are selling? Hip-hop is now being questioned about what's real and what's fake. Some people claim that our Pimpy was the real deal and that he was influencing everyone, including pop stars like Beyonce, while others are concerned that it might damage the genre. His picture reveals a side of him that is inconsistent with their preferred memory of him. At the end of the day, it all boils down to Queen B. It's like, do we want to know everything about our idols or are certain things best left in the past? This video is undoubtedly upending the Pimpsey legacy, 
but it's also changing the way we see Bayank and making us wonder how much of what we see is genuine and how much is really for show. People on the streets are discussing how this may be the start of many secrets being revealed. Why your husband don't want to put his seed inside of you? He put it in everybody else? <laughs> Wild in this world, yo. It, it's funny, you open up uh, Beyonce's internet, it just gets weird. Um, Beyonce's internet? That, that's what we're calling that it. That belongs to the <laughs> devil. <laughs> Unless you calling that the devil, she ain't number the employee. Oh, oh. A half a f witch, dumbass bitch. <laughs> so. You know, it, it's funny that it's it's crazy you say these I things. I know nobody want to accept that that bitch bitch. I think she's she went and killed the girl cats. <sighs> okay. A girl went to court <clears throat> and charged her with extreme witchcraft. <clears throat> she she was hypnotized. She was drugged. Beyonce came and she was in there eating on her and shit while she was asleep. No snacking on his bitch. Killing people cats. And guess what? They wouldn't give her the restraining order. They just told her to stay away from Beyonce and work for somebody else. Guess what? She's having a hard time finding work too. Which is interesting because she's a brilliant musician and she was trained at the Berkeley, esteemed Berkeley College of Music. Handpicked by my very good friend, Terry Lynn Carrington, Dr. Terry Lynn Carrington, who put together Beyonce's entire female band, which was Matthew Knowles' idea because he couldn't get Beyonce to stop people. Guess you didn't know your daughter well enough because she just started f***ing all the girls. Impulse control issues? I don't know. I'm saying, Sean Carter, you're a piece of shit. Taking Pimp C wasn't bad enough. You just want to go down there and you want to just remove all of the balls from every real f gangster in Houston. Why the fuck did that house burn up? Who the fuck goes to their childhood house for a visit and the shit goes up in flames? That was very weird. The next day, and, and within the, the week. And the, no, the next day. The next day. And, and still, no real investigation on how the house just went up in flames. Man. I guess they paid y'all off. Like they paid y'all off for that astral world. So, let me ask you. Texas um, politics. Yeah, Texas politics, man. It's, it's <sighs> right there. We're gonna we're gonna talk about the episode, but for right now, I just gotta get your take on when we see a killer Mike win three Grammys and get arrested immediately after because Jay Z paid somebody to up just so he couldn't have a good night. You Sean. Hey man. Weirdo. <laughs> I don't get no what you got in your head, that neural link. You'll never outthink me. Ever. All I do is frustrate your f***ing AI. You can't quantify me. You can't even control your wife. You gonna handle a bitch like me. You can't even control that goofy bitch. You should have did a better job. Maybe she wouldn't have had to lose her mind on Kathy. Because you ain't protecting you. You're protecting her. Wonder why? This tape has completely upended everything we thought we knew about Queen Bee. Whether you're riding hard for bait or you're enjoying watching her perspire, one thing is certain this drama is far from over. The streets are talking and they won't be stopping anytime soon. We've seen a side of Beyonce that we didn't know existed, and it's got everyone shook. Keep your eyes peeled and your ears down because this story is just getting started. He is hot and it will continue to flow, and who knows what other secrets might surface. One thing is certain the Beyond we thought we knew she might be gone forever.